uh, Gram Seni uh, is one of the important milestone in the history of uh, microbiology. It was discovered by Christian Gram. And uh, it's one of the bedside investigation. You should not forget it. It's one of the part and parcel of your practical examination. It will be asked in theory and practical examination. It's one of the gold standards. Or it's one of the important staining, like Leishman stain. Uh, because uh, <coughs> it is used to start the empirical antibiotic. This I have told you in detail in my cramp staining video. Now moving on to the next part of the microorganism that is flagella. Flagella is a long slender organ of locomotion made up of flagellin. It's a protein and it has got three parts, basal plate, hook and the body. It's unbranched. It's an organ of locomotion, not the organ of adhesion. Fimbria is made up of pilin. Fimbria are pili. They are organ of adhesion because they produce a gummy substance called adhesins. So please remember uh, flagella is organ of locomotion made up of flagella. In thickness it is 0 0.02 beyond the resolution of our microscope. You cannot see flagella in gram staining. You have to make it thick by impregnating into silver salt so that you can uh, Make it thick and see. It's called silver impregnation method. Now, depending on the element of flagella, it's, it's classified into a trichate. All cocci are without flagella. A trichus, monotrichus, single flagella at one pole. Vibrio cholera shows darting motility. Peritrichate, flagella all over the body. Example, enterobacteriaceae, except clepsial and shigella. Monotrichate, or Amphitrichate, single flagellum at both ends, pseudomonas, tuft of flagella at one end or both ends, spiral. So, antibodies are formed against flagellum which are not protective, they are called H antibodies. We talk about these antibodies in detail, they are not protective in nature, we talk about this flagella antibodies uh, in detail when we take up uh, the <coughs> Vidal test which is done for diagnosis of enteric fever. Now, uh, demonstration of flagella, there is a direct method and indirect method. Direct method is space contrast microscope, dark ground microscope and uh, electron microscope, uh, you can see. Indirect method, you can just do wet cover slip preparation, hanging drop preparation. You have to put a drop of broth and tilt the cover slip on the cavity slide and look for the edge of the drop. The You can see the motility of the organ. All the motel organisms, you presume that they are flagellated. Then you go in a manitol motility medium, semi-solid medium. If it shows zigzag mo movement, it is motel. Then uh, you have swarming growth on enriched media like blood agar. Protea shows swarming growth. Then YouTube, you put it in one end and uh, isolate from other end with YouTube and Craig's YouTube and the Craig's YouTube is uh, one outer tube and inner tube with both ends open. Inoculate either inside or outside and uh, take out the organism from other side. They are motile. So what are the uses of uh, flagella? It, uh, all the organisms uh, move from unfavorable en environment to the favorable environment. Please remember the points that uh, all enterobacteria are motile except Klebsiella and Shigella. All Clostridia are motile except Clostridia melchi. And uh, please remember this, this is very important. And they will ask you what are the motile organisms. Please remember this. And uh, Ertrichate, Monotrichate, Peritrichate, Amphitrichate, Ertrichate, Cocci. Peritrichate salmonella, entry entric organism, amphitrichate pseudomonas, peritrichate enterobacteria. So, flagella is organ of locomotion made up of flagellin. Antibodies formed against flagella are called H antibodies, which are not protective in nature.